Something across my desk was, hey, there's a dude that's living in Belgrade who's a big time bad guy financer. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Like, this isn't running around Yemen. This is Belgrade. And they're like, we just need dirt on him. So I beat the streets and Serbia is a beautiful country. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm trying to see if this guy's into tubes, into it's into drugs. Like, mm. just really trying to find anything on this guy. This guy's clean as a whistle. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> I had recruited a source. I was at his house. He takes a phone call one night, leaves. 45 minutes later, the door busts open and I see him like fly across the floor in handcuffs. I'm like, what the f And then I look up and there's a gun at my forehead and I just see it like right here. And I can hear the magazine shaking and rattling because the guy's so nervous. Bro, is that you? And he turns around and like, dirty, is that you? I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing here? And they're like, what are you doing here? And there are two guys I had known that were active duty. Oh. And I said, where are you? I'm like, where are you guys? What are you guys doing? Are you guys getting ready to go somewhere? Like, yeah, we might be going a little head nod to the Southwest. And I'm like, oh, mm. I've been to that place. And he's like, when? And I told him when. He's like, we need to meet. <laughs> <laughs> we go meet up with them, me and my boss. And, um, we're at the Jumeirah Towers Hotel. I'm sure they changed the name by now. We're hanging out. And they're like, dude, we, we go through it all. And it turns out that they were working with an a entity. Okay. And they were going to drop kinetic strikes on the two targets we were going to roll on while we were in Yemen. Oh, shit. And that's why we kept getting called off. We didn't know why. It was because... They knew there was like a friendly force, but we didn't have blue force trackers or anything. And we were getting like, we didn't want a hellfire dropped on our head, but we were frustrated and didn't know why. But thank goodness. Yeah. You'd been killed. Yeah. By my, our own shit. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, oh, fuck. That's so trippy. You yeah. go halfway around the world, run into your voice. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Let's, let's have a conversation. Same place. Yeah. So you, the, and this is just during that training time yep. with, with the Emiratis. So we do a big FTX. We show them because the plan was, look how good we trained them. Let's deploy with them like we tried to and go do some cool shit. And they're like, no, nope, thanks for your training. Beat it. So th then me and the one other guy, my boss, we we did some contracts and stuff we can't talk about. Um, good stuff. And then. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> you know, traveled around, did some cool shit. And. A lot of, a lot of bodies left behind. No, you know, not, it's not all like that, man. One, like. One, you know, we get we get calls. It's like, hey, this guy's this guy is dual citizen, so are his kids, and he's keeping them in country X. And like, the mom is a full American, wants her kids back, but he's right. connected to so and so in that country. Can you go get him? So you get calls like that too. Like, oh, it's that's not all, fun. Yeah, it's yeah. just more like a problem solving company is what we would be, right? Um, so this isn't Black Cube, is it? With Black Cube. All right, good answer. All right. <laughs> Continue. So, <laughs> so that one's getting clipped. Is Black Cube the ones that set up people? Like they did a big thing, and mix... we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah, off yeah. air on that. Yeah. I know they are. I know they are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like a lot of you're basically saying it, it, it's a lot of random shit where you need very highly trained individuals who can quietly go get something done, essentially. Yeah, and it might even just be the contacts, like my boss or me. I know the guy who knows the guy who works at right. the Ministry of Police, and we'll, go, we'll just go do it. So that's it. I mean, it's not all crazy running and gunning. Yeah. It's not. So did that, and then I got a something across my desk was, hey, there's a dude that's living in Belgrade who's a big-time bad guy financer, Arabic dude. Terrorist financer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, well, I don't know. Like, this isn't this isn't running around Yemen. This is Belgrade. And they're like, we just need dirt on him. We need some not so halal activities, right? Uh, and I and I've seen that before. I've been in Bahrain coming back from it, from Iraq and seeing dudes wasted. Oh yeah. And they're like, yeah, all I cannot see in Bahrain. I'm like, damn, okay. Like, yeah. so there is. There is proclivity for people to, to be acting a certain way in different places that are not their home country right, that I've seen. So they only, but they only wanted dirt on the guy. It wasn't to leverage like him to kill stop. this guy yeah. or something. Yeah. And because you're in Belgrade, you're not going to go kill. Like it's, yeah. it's still a European-ish Yeah, country. it's an international issue. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm like, that's easy day. I don't like, 
all I need is what my camera, work some sources. You know, I'm there. So had, I go, real quick, I'm sorry to ask, but had you done training for surveillance as well in your years in, in the teams, I take it? Mm -hmm. So you knew that? Knew this, okay. Yeah. So I beat the streets, and Serbia is a beautiful fucking country. It's amazing. Yeah. And uh, just get the lay of the land, meet some high rollers, meet some guys that, you know, not the highlights of society, you know, everywhere in between. Trying to see if this guy's like, into prostitutes, into kids, into drugs, like mm. just really trying to find anything on this guy. And this guy's fucking clean as a whistle. I'm like, fuck, this sucks. <laughs> I'm just grinding, grinding, grinding. Then, you know, I had recruited a source, a uh, kid I made friends with, and I was at his house. He takes a phone call one night, leaves. 45 minutes later, the door busts open, and I see him like fly across the floor with, in handcuffs. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I look up and there's a gun at my forehead. And I just see it like right here. And I can hear the magazine shaking and rattling because the guy is so nervous. And I try to like zoom out more and I see it's a uniform and it's a cop uniform, but it looks like it was bought at like Party City. It looked like really cheap. And I'm like, is this a fucking like fucked up prank from this kid? Like what is going on? And then four more cops show up. And then two plainclothes cops show up. And I'm like, what the fuck? And they're just yelling at me in Serbian. And, and like, I don't know what they're saying. So I just like, maybe if I just put my hands up slowly, that's a good start. And it was. And then, you know, I got handcuffed behind my back, thrown on the ground, and you no know, knee in my back. And they're like, just barking at me in Serbian. I'm like, bro, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Like, American? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. They're like, American? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yes, yes, American. What are you doing here? I'm like, we're going to have a party. No, why are you in Serbia? I'm like, why not? Like, what? what's the big deal? Love this country. Yeah. Do you have a passport? Yes, I have a passport. Like, what are you talking about? Where is it? Like, right here. Hmm. So they start searching this kid's house. They go down to his garage where he has this big safe and they pull out all these guns. Like a million, like, like 50 guns. But he's a hunter and like they're all registered and shit. Okay. Right? But they're like, oh, American, you like guns. I'm like, as much as the next guy, I don't know. And this, this goes on and on. And I, one of the plainclothes cops speaks English. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Am I under arrest? They're like, you are now. I'm like, fuck, if I should, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm like, what do you mean I am now? Like, what's changed between now and 10 seconds ago? Yeah, like, what, like strange. what the fuck are you talking about? And the kid I was, <laughs> the kid's in his house I was with, he's like locked up. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, his mom, who lived on the first floor, like four stories below his flat, she comes flying in, wailing and crying, and the cops have to take her out. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, I have no idea what's going on. More conversation in Serbian, like, you're, go you're going to, you know, you're going to police station. Fine. Whatever. Get in the car, and then... We both get put into a car, and there's also, there's two other guys in handcuffs. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Who are these two other guys? Yeah, because you were there alone doing this, right? Yeah. I'm like, who are these, who are these two other guys? Mm. Well, well, doing this, I wasn't doing anything illegal. I was just trying to find out information on somebody, right? That's not something yeah, that's you should get illegal. arrested for. No. So I'm like, who are these two other guys? And I go to the police department, you know, it's like, spread your cheeks, lift your sack, full. I'm like, what? I'm fine. Do my thing. I stick a finger up there. No, for me. no. You could tell the cop was like the wrong. cop was like, yeah, okay, that's enough. He's like, okay, <laughs> like I, I'm doing this out of protocol. I'm not really enthusiastic, thankfully. <sighs> so we get there, and I'm I'm sitting in this little room. It's you know the bench is just long enough that it's not big enough for me to lay down in. I'm like, God damn, I get the wool blanket. I'm just sitting there. Then I get pulled out. There's this big, huge dude, the cop, and he's like. What's up, man? I'm like, what's up? He's like, CIA? No. DEA? No. FBI? No. Like, just ask me every alphabet. I'm like, no. What are you doing? Like, what do you do for work? I'm like, oh, I'm a private contractor. He's like, oh, yeah. What'd you do? Wow. What qualifies you to do that? I'm like, oh, there's a Navy SEAL. And he's like, oh, oh. you're special forces in Serbia. That's very interesting. And I'm like, what? Why? And then I was like, oh, yeah, Kosovo and... Right. Oh, they don't uh, like you. Uh, I was like, oh, fuck. Dude. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, I was at my buddy's house. He's like, hmm. 
So you know he got arrested for drugs. I'm like, I did not. Oh, it was for drugs. Yeah. So apparently we we're going to have a party. He Sounds like a good party. <laughs> Not not my cup of tea. I'll, I'll drink okay. all the I'll drink all the tequila in the world. You but. keep saying that. Uh, we'll go with it. <laughs> He's yeah. under the table. Oh yeah. God. Zin Zin is good enough for me. I put two six milligrams in. I'm I'm wired. So this guy takes a phone call. He goes to another city to buy drugs. Well, the drug dealer, that guy's dad, got arrested three months ago for guess what dealing drugs mm, yeah so the police been listening to his phone oh no so the drug dealer is with a friend and then the guy i know was there to buy and what do drug dealers carry on them to protect themselves guns guns so boom those three get re- get arrested i happen to be at the kid's house and they go back to search his house i'm like who's this guy I'm like, he's hey. the kingpin <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm the guy i'm the uh i'm the, I'm the drug lord <laughs> so i get wrapped up into this right and the <laughs> The, the good, I call him the good cop, the big dude. He's like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah. He's like, he can tell I wasn't lying. He's like, holy shit. He's like, so you're not here for, for Vucic? I'm like, for what? Vucic? I'm like, Vuk? Because I know Vuk means wolf in Russian. So like for a wolf, he's like, no, Vucic. I'm like, what is Vucic? He's like, our president. You're not here to kill our president. I said, no, I'm not here to kill your fucking president. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I didn't think so. I'm like, cool, let's go. He's like, yeah, but. The newspapers already found out about it. I'm like, no shit. It's been like four hours. He's like, yeah. It's election year too, so. That there's a Navy SEAL and ex-Navy SEAL in They're here to custody. Kill, here to kill the president. Oh, here to kill the president. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they were just like, boom. Are there articles about this right now? Yeah. Can we pull this up? Yeah. Navy SEAL kill Serbian president? I got to see this for myself. Yeah. They have me listed as like a Marine how Army did, SEAL. How did they get from cocaine to killing the president? I'm very confused. I have no idea. And they never, well, I never was charged with any of those things. So, so here we go. So they're good. They, so the good cops like, look, dude, I believe you, but this has gone to the media. Yeah. He's like, you're fucked. He's like, you're <laughs> famous and you're fucked. I'm like, but I didn't do anything. He's All like, right. have we got anything there? Yeah. I, I, I think we got one here. All right. We can switch to camera five. Beautiful. All right. So the past several weeks, I've seen a peculiar set of events play out in Serbia that would make a plot worthy of any good espionage novel. It opened a rare window into an ordinary, ordinarily opaque world. A former Navy SEAL who now works for a well-connected private military company, a Serbian arms dealer recently sanctioned by the United States government and seeking relief, purveyors of Washington money and influence all find their way into the plot. Except here, the former Navy SEAL lands in a Belgrade jail and is held under a judicial detention order while outside he is daily tried in the virtual courtroom of the pro-Russia Serbian media, which hints or declares outright he is a professional assassin (laughs) sent to kill Serbian leaders. Some go so far as to accuse him of the January assassination of high-profile Serbian political leader in neighboring Republika Spritska, where anti-Bosnian and secession, secessionist sentiment runs high. To start at the beginning on February... What year is this, by the way? 19? 20? Okay. 18, 19? All right, so this is before Ukraine. Yeah, so, yeah, this, so is this, is, this, this, this was the word instantly. Boom. And I'm like, what? No. And then, so the, the, the good cop's like, I believe you, but you're fucked. I said, okay, thanks for being honest. Puts me back in the little holding cage. I think you two. Your, you got your wool blanket. Yeah, my wool blanket. And they there you, put, go. you know, two, three days later, I get pulled out. Two, two other cops, plain clothes, and him. We get in there, and there's this lady, like just big, big, huge lady, smoking cigarettes. Like <laughs> she looks, she she's dressed like 101 Dalmatians bad guy, oh. Cruella Deville, but she was built like Ursula. And she's like, <laughs> you know, she, she, she she's sitting there, and she's like. It makes sign here and gives me this paper in Cyrillic Serbian. And I'm like, bro, I'm not signing this. I'm Did like, you ask for a lawyer? Yeah. They're like, yeah, you don't get one. Right. Now. <laughs> oh, she, oh, they're oh, like, oh, maybe, one. maybe some other day. Like, there's no like due process there. She's like, make make sign here. I'd make translate you. I'm like, motherfucker, you ain't translating shit. Popo she make chorus. Let's go. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> uh, no. And then she's like, I'm like, well, what does it say? It says you have a gun and explosives. And I'm like, I do not have a gun and explosive. I'm not signing this. She's like, she like looks at the cop and she's like, they're like, hmm. like, oh, we tried. I'm like, motherfuckers. 
like to see if they'll sign it. I'm like, no. And they're like, okay. And okay, sign this. This says passport, your watch, ID, wallet. And I can make out like Rolex. You sure? Yeah. Somewhere in there it doesn't no, no. say grenade. And I was like, here, yeah, exactly, right? Granada. And I was like, boom, boom, look here. And she's like, okay. Got a bunch of DNA swabs taken from me. And they're like hold, pinning me down, like holding my jaw open, uh. like I'm going to bite them. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Then I get interrogated by the, the two new cops and the good cop who's sitting next to me. And he's like, hey, these guys are an organized crime unit because there's four people in your case. I'm like, I don't even know who those two other guys are. Yeah, but three or more, now it's being charged as an organized crime. It's being looked at as organized crime. They're just crime. going all over the board. Oh, yeah, everything. Everything they were throwing at me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so they interrogate me. And I'm like, what? No. Bah, bah, bah. And I dance with them. And then I just be quiet because I realize I'm getting really tired. I'm slipping a little bit. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.